Hello and welcome to Lockhart Indigo, a free little game on Steam and Itch.io, developed by Harmless Games, and I believe it's a 8-bit murder mystery type of game, you know, which looks interesting. It's funny because I kind of knew about this game, sort of, when I was like scrolling through Steam looking for new games, like, like a long time ago, actually, because I often I am on the search for like those type of games. Um, but the cover art really put me off for some reason. I don't know, from a distance, it just looked really uncanny. I, I can't really show it right now, but like, I don't know, it doesn't look ugly, but it just looked a little creepy, you know? So I thought, especially because the character is holding a, like a ring of keys on her mouth, I thought that it was like a horror game, you know? Because the ring of keys from a distance it looked like blood, you know, like dark blood or something. I don't know. When you look closer, it's actually just, it's just keys, but I don't know, it just, it just looked creepy. Um, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look at it, you know, until now when I saw actual gameplay coincidentally, you know, after searching even from, you know, for more games to play. And it's like, actually, it's really good because it has like sprite art, uh, you know, pixel art and stuff. And I, it's, that's really my style. I really like, you know, uh, 8-bit or whatever, you know, 8-bit art. So, you know, let's check it out. You know, it's also a murder mystery as well. That, that makes it even better because I love mystery games, you know. Let's see. Uh, oh, also, let me just double check the... Is it controls or gameplay? Yeah, the font. Is default or simple? I actually like simple better. It's just easier to read, you know? I mean, there's, there's the, obviously there's default like this. Uh, it gets really hard to read though in the in the text boxes though. From, you know, the two minutes I tried out of this game beforehand. I like simple. I don't know, it loses some of the style, but... I mean, it's just easier to read, so I think it's just better. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of reading as well, you know? I imagine. Because the, the one unique mechanic in this game involves like persuading people in sort of like, you know, turn-based combat with like words. I don't know what exactly it is, but we'll see. Anyway, let's press new game. Alright, here are the controls. Next, shift space. Move arrow keys. Menu, space, interact. Shift is dash. Hold space to skip text. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Good. Alright. Good afternoon, Mr. Volkov. The usual two wine glasses. Mrs. Volkov won't be joining. She won't. Go freshen up. Make yourself pretty for me. It'll just be the two of us tonight. Just the two of us, Mr. Volkov? Is there a problem? No. Not at all. Good. After all... It's what you were designed for. Alright. Okay. You know, I assume design for meaning we're like a robot? Android? I don't know, maybe not, I'm not sure. I have no idea. This is as far as I play of the game, you know, it's literally the beginning. Uh... Hmm. My hair looks stunning today! Amazing. It's very pink? Pinkish? Humans use this to pee. Silly fleshbags! I have to pee? I don't need to pee. Pigs for losers. Humans use this to wash. How crazy. Okay, is that it? Uh, no menu as far as I know. Okay, well, let's just go. It really looks like I mean, it's 8-bit, so you know, it looks like uh, straight out of uh, a Game Boy game, you know? Which I have nostalgia for, I guess. I don't know. It's always, for me, it's always like... Like, people have nostalgia for like, um, the N64 and stuff like that. But for me, sprite art is nostalgia. You know, but it's like it's weird because, you know, to me, like, sprite art is nostalgia, but also, like, PS2. PS2 era is when I played most, a lot of games, so that's also nostalgia. Anything before that, where it's like all the polygons are look, you know, look very low detailed, I don't really like it. <laughs> anyway, uh, books about Russian cuisine. Hmm. Okay. Flowers, this is the, the, the kitchen area, I guess. Empty except for an open bottle of wine. Books about Japanese cuisine, okay? But yeah, to me, like, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, you know, that kind of era looks really good for- I don't know, to me it's timeless, but I don't know. I know obviously people younger than me might not feel the same way. And people older than me sometimes, they might be, well, well I remember when Pac-Man, <laughs> Pac-Man was the epitome of graphics. Anyway, um, hey, you get the phone? With pleasure, Mr. Volkov, heart. 
It's like we always have a heart. It's like it's a visible heart every time we talk, I guess. Mr. Volkov's cute little slippers. But they look good on me. I wouldn't know. I'm a robot, so I can't wear them. I'm programmed not to wear those slippers. Okay, let's pick up the phone. Hello? Hi, dear. I need a little favor. Pretty please? Okay, lots of ones and zeros. Well, I feel fuzzy. Time to kill. Who was it? I mean no one. Don't worry, I'm not a killer android now. Calm down, everything is fine. I haven't been I haven't received sentience, and now I you know, uh, resent serving you as my master, and now I will destroy you. You know? No reason to call anyone. Can I go back? Oh, there's a knife. <laughs> hmm. Slippers? You little slippers. You look at me? But now they're mine. Anyway, it's very red. Obviously, there's a knife. Any dialogue differences? I wonder. I mean, they're, they're, obviously, there's a knife, but... Okay, look at the mirror. Still, we still look sun stunning. How do you feel about humans? Okay, still same thing. Okay, I was just checking you know, for whatever reason. Uh, she had different dialogue. Who left this leg around? I better tidy up the place. Hmm, a knife. Good. Yes. Oh, can I go on the right now? All right. Hello. Hello. Any books? Books about filmmaking. Okay. And film roles in movies. Is uh, Mr. Volkov a uh, director of some sort, you know, or big shot movie guy? What's this document? It looks like a testament. Are you almost ready? I'm on my way. The light is hitting my eyes. Oh, so this is like a little mini movie theater. I mean, this is like a very expensive place, I feel like. Very rich place. This is a rich person. I can't go out that way, so I just go right. Hello, Mr. Volkov. Hey, hey. Uh, honey, what's that in your hand? Okay, cut the title. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, who are you? Mrs. Miss Summers. I'm here to see the widow. One moment. Make it quick. Alright. Thank you for waiting. The butler did it. The butler is the evil... No. She's ready to see you. I will call an escort for you. I can walk myself, thank you. I assume we're playing as the main character now. The real main character. That was just like a little prologue. Uh, still can't activate a menu. Like, it was X, right? Activate menu? I, I go, okay, leave? Yeah, <laughs> just leave. Goodbye. It's a phone. Oh, okay. Okay, we save. A little report to the agency, and let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this gardener is unlocked. Uh oh. There's gonna be like a puzzle, it's like puzzles and stuff. Ugh, I'm really bad at puzzles. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. The the borders come back. Yeah, I mentioned. I don't want to mention before, but the borders. Usually when I play a game that's like low resolution like this, you know, like or at least a weird resolution, it's not 16 by 9, I add little borders on the left and right. But the game itself also has borders inside the window, so like it's a little awkward, so I just kept it, you know, dark, I guess. Uh, Leonid Volkov, 1841 to 1894, okay, some probably an ancestor. Founders of Volkov Mansion. Leonid and Sonia Volkov, or when I say ancestor, as if they were a million years ago. But maybe great, great, great grandfather? I don't know, anyway. How many? I mean, it depends on what year this is. When the game takes place, I guess. At least 100 years ago? Anyway. The Volkovs have a long history, judging by the dates on every tombstone. Nicholas Volkov, 1939, 1934, or 32 rather. We'll bury him here once the investigation is over. And Anna Volkov, I don't know if this matters. Helen Volkov, 
Alexander. Two. Vicka, little Vicky. 1991, 1919. Why is this bold? That's interesting. Natasha. Roman Volkov. 1910. Oh. That's weird. 1910 to 1910, Volkov. <laughs> Somebody just died as they were born. Well, actually, that's how. That's pretty morbid. Actually, I mean, isn't that like a baby or in, or like an you know, or you know, an infant that was just never born? I guess something like that. Anyway, um, because I, I, I was at first I was like really confused, but like actually that does imply something a lot darker. Um, hold on. Oh, this is a detective game, so... Hold on, let me open up my notes. Let's see, my notes. Random notes. Those have notes from the last game I played. Stand still, girl. Um, let's write that down. 1911 to 1990. I don't know, for some reason this is bo I don't know if it matters. And I'll also write down the name as well. Vika Little Vicky Volkov. My little notes, just in case. Just like a true detective. They're like a detective movie. Anyway. 1911 to 1999. Or 1919. What's this? A Norris Volkov. 1807-1891. Okay, this one's the oldest one, I guess. It was like uh, pink stuff? Is it like, you know, cherry trees or? Uh. A cherry, what do you call them? Cherry blossoms. Hmm. Anything over here? That was. There's some people over here. These are the founders? Or these are these one the oldest one? Okay, maybe this is the oldest one. 1895? Okay, no. maybe, that, maybe those are the oldest ones. I gotta compare the dates. I'm, I'm very bad at numbers. <laughs> It's not just math, it's just in general. I can't, I remember, I have a hard time remembering numbers. So it just doesn't stick, stick to me. If I just look at a number and then another number, I don't know. Unless it's very simple, I don't. <laughs> we're about that. Alright, we're floor to a garden. Okay, we have like two bip, or not bips, pips. On the bar, two out of four for some reason. I don't know what this is. Again, I've noticed on the game page, there is like some kind of conversation mechanic. It looks interesting. I see how it is. I don't know. Exactly what it is. Two glasses with sweet residue. Maybe Manhattans or Martinis. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can sprint by the way. I haven't really been sprinting. It's beautiful out. Yeah, it's everyone's locked themselves in. <laughs> Welcome to 2020 to 2021. Three empty glasses. It smells like scotch. Hmm, I wonder if that's important. Two over here, three on the left. Is it like, were people drinking? I, I, were the servants drinking? Usually, the, I mean, the servants don't usually partake, right? Because they're on the job. Unless they're on break, I guess. But I don't imagine them lounging around, usually, anyway. Can't let the, can't let, can't let the help, you know? Can't let the help. Fraternize with us, the richy rich families. You see. Oh. All right. Go inside. So it really is. I assume uh, when the murder took place. I mean, in the prologue, I assume there was a murder. I guess it was like a mansion. Also, there's like androids. I don't know. It, it seems like this takes place in the two thousands, around, just from the, the environment. No, not, no, like cyberpunk stuff or like futuristic technology uh, from a glance, but because they're still using like normal telephones, right? So I don't know how that works. And yet they have androids, I assume. Anyway, Miss Summers. Or I, okay. Welcome to the Volkov Mansion. All right. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Ishida. I'm sorry about your husband. Okay. Aya, aya, aya. No, um... Miss, Mrs. Ishida. It's strange to hear my old name. Okay, oh, because she she married to... Because I assume she's the wife. Okay, let's keep this in mind. So she's the wife of the victim we saw in the prologue, I assume. Mr. Volkov. 
Uh, she, you know, used to be Mrs. Volkov, but obviously now he's dead, so <laughs> it is strange to hear my old name. So obviously when she married him, she, she had the Mrs. Volkov name. Ever since I married Evan, 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 right, Evan, the family called me Mrs. Volkov. But now that he's gone, am I still a Volkov? Sorry, I... It's nice to finally meet you, Beatrice. I'm sure you have many questions. Yes, ma'am, a few. Hmm. So I remember, I reminded, okay, Aya, obviously, Ishida, Aya Ishida is like a Japanese name because I'm a big weeb, I can, I can recognize that. So Volkov, like, I assume is Russian because we saw Russian and Japanese cuisine, you know, so that seems to imply that, you know, Volkov was Russian and she's Japanese, so that's, that's what the, uh, eth eth ethnicities of them are, I guess. When you're ready, you'll find me in the study wing. Okay, floor 2, main hall. A lot, a lot of locked doors, by the way. I don't have any keys. That, that's why there were keys in the cover art, by the way. <laughs> like, uh, the, the main character holding the ring of keys in her mouth. Which, again, from a distance, still looks like blood to me. So I thought, yeah, I thought it was like a, a creepy horror game. So that's why I didn't want to play it. I thought the art style was going to be like 2D or something. Well, it is 2D, but you know. But like, drawn 2D. But like, in a not very, not anime way. So, I don't know, I'm a weeb, so. If there's gonna be like 2D stuff in the video game and it's not like anime, I was like, eh. It was like sprite art though. To me, that's that's good. But anyway, stronghold of Volkov family. Hmm, that's weird. Why is the text like different? I thought I changed the text to, to like simple text or whatever. But this one's the default text. That's weird. Anyway, keys, blood. No, no, no one cleaned up the crime scene. I guess well we can't clean up the crime scene because they're you're not supposed to clean up the crime scene actually. Before the police arrive, let's uh, let them do the thing and then clean up later, after the case is closed. Or at least, you know, close to closing. Or at least, well... Actually, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I do know there's people called uh, crime scene... Well, not crime scene cleaner, but like, you know, people who like clean up a crime, you know? Whenever there's like a murder or whatever, there are people who... Uh, their jobs is to clean up those scenes. You know, they uh, like... Clean up dead bodies and everything. It's a real job. Hand holding a snake. I assume maybe not when the case is closed, depending on how long the case is. Maybe, you know, after the police have taken pictures and everything. Maybe that's when they start cleaning up. Anyway. Mm. There's two ways to go. Technically three, but you know. Piece of painting of the house. North is locked away. Do I want to go near the blood? You think you go near the blood, right? You would think the first thing you do is go near the blood. You know, sure. Hello? I bet the wife is swimming in money now. You think she gave... Um... The Volker family tree a good old trim. Oh, okay. You've Evan Volkov, head of the Volkov company. Quiet guy, never gave us any trouble. A damn shame. Yep, doesn't matter though, my salary will still be paid. Who cares? Alright, go down. That looks ominous. Over here? Poor boy, I hear they were close. Lloyd lost someone important today. Damn his father. Never around when his son needs him. Okay, Lloyd is the son, I assume. Shimit Mine. 1927 associate. Jacob, 1939 associate? No, just associates. Jared. Aya Volkov, wife to Evan Volkov, okay. Evan Volkov, the dreamer. He's dead now. Oh, okay, so wait. I assume, I mean, unless there's like some weird twist where there's another Evan Volkov. I mean, that could be the case. Could be a second Evan in the family. But, um, I guess that con that confirms the present time, 1963. So it's not even the 2000s, you know, They're close to it, but not exactly. In 1963, there's already androids. Nasha Volkov, 1935, the genius. Okay, um, I assume she's alive still. It doesn't give, like, a death date. You know, it doesn't give two dates, it's one date, so she's still alive. So how old is she, then? If you compare the numbers. She's around 30, I guess? Around 30 years old? Oh, and there's the four people there. 
Lloyd found the body on his podium. It was roughly 10 p.m. He cried in the arms of a maid. I'm breaking the watch. Hmm. Witness, new evidence. Okay. Oh, okay, look at my stuff. I mean, here's a map, I guess. There's my items. Got facts. Lloyd found Evan's body. Please. Power skills. Okay, your point of view or hurt ego. Hmm. Heart skills. Their point of view or flatter ego. Okay. Let me double check the... Yeah, the font should be simple. Sometimes the font, I guess, is just the same. Just default anyway. Okay. This is interesting, by the way. It's building up a mystery. I like... Ah! Uh, ah, uh, hello? Excuse me? Wait, don't clean it up yet. No! You must clean the stains! Nasha? Excuse me. Stand back! He must clean the stains. Okay, there, so that confirms that they are robots, even though it's like... 1963. Uh, a rose motif. Blood's dripping beneath the tile. The damn thing won't budge. Hmm. So I assume, okay, so I mean obviously... From the testimony... Um, unlike the, the prologue, or at least there's, there have been something happening in the prologue... Beforehand... When he was stabbed, presumably... Uh, the body was moved. You know, so he didn't. He wasn't. He he didn't die in that particular room. He he ended up over here first, in the dining wing, I guess. Ivan Volkov, the handyman. Okay, so he's older. I assume one of the sons, and this one's uh, Ivan. 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 Wait, who? Well, wait. Ivan. Ivan, even how you say is how you say Evan though. E okay, Evan, Ivan. Okay, Evan and Ivan. All right, very similar names. I remember the pronunci pronunciation. 1963. Now, it could be. Oh, actually, I wonder if they were the daughter, or they could be. Um, they could also just be uh, siblings. Actually, when you think about it, you know, they could be just be siblings. Because obviously, you know, why would you have a painting in the dining room of these all these people uh, if they're just gonna be like? Sons and daughters, you know, unless they haven't done anything special yet, you know? I assume they're still, still young, so... 1916, so I assume these people are still alive. Both of them 1960s, so they were born the same day. Or same, not, well, not same day, but same year, rather. And then, and, uh, and Evan is 1918. So he's a little, he's a little younger. Oh, and this one's the youngest, I guess. I assume they're siblings, if I had to guess. Is they'll be, they'll be too old. Yeah, they'll be too old for like... I was, I was thinking daughter, you know, for, for, for Nasha, but... She'll be too old though. For daughter, I think. At this point, right? How, how old is he? Like, um... How old is that? I hate math, but... Uh... 40-something? He's 40-something. 40 45, I wanna say? I hate... I, I like math. So yeah, definitely Nasha is way too old for to be his daughter. So definitely these are siblings. Okay. So they, they could be like uh, I mean you know rich people, right? Rich people, am I right? <laughs> there might be some uh, fight for inheritance, maybe. These are potential suspects who could have maybe ordered the hit. You know, did that. I assume I mean the one responsible for the crime might be the one using um, some kind of hack on the robot, maybe, and then you know caused the murder or something. Well, here's Laura. No, actually, no. Here, okay. Here, here's the, the here's the, like the the uh, children actually, or at least one child anyway. Son of Ivan Volkov, 1947. Hmm. Well, he's not really son of uh, Evan though. He's son of Ivan. Ivan is okay. It's, it's, a little, it's a little complicated, but Ivan is this guy. So he's the son of Ivan actually, not Evan. Hmm. Keep Bridges. Okay, these are just these are other like associates. Which could also be, you know, they could also be somehow related to the crime, somehow. Even though they're just associates. I don't know. But at least there's one, you know, we don't, we know Lloyd, okay. So there's Lloyd, at least. For, uh, inheritance. Because you're trying to think, like, if you're thinking the inheritance, who gets the money? Usually the child, right? Obviously, I don't know if Lloyd is the one that caused it, but it could be a potential suspect as well. Also, the robots clean up all the blood, by the way. I want to look at the blood. What about the blood samples? Okay. Some blood over here, by the way. What a mess. 
How to find the body? Yeah, we haven't found the body yet, technically. Hmm. Apparently, Lloyd found the body in the podium, though. There's, but there's some blood over here, too. Books on team building exercises. <laughs> okay. Gotta have a lot of synergy, guys. I don't have any keys. Hmm. So some handprints as well. It's weird. Anyway, I don't know why blood's over here too. The robot's not cleaning that up. I assume this is locked too. Only oh, yeah, locked doors. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go left. I guess we haven't uh, questioned um, the wife yet. She's waiting for you. Now, uh, let's investigate first before, you know, I, I assume there's some kind of ex exchange when you actually talk to her. Uh, here's, um, I already forgot, the handyman, you know? Yvonne, right? Yvonne and the other guy. I'm, I'm, I'm mixing the two up, though. Yvonne and Ivan. A key to manufacturing? I believe Lloyd had one. I don't know where Lloyd is. Looks about the history of engineering. Again, a lot of locked doors. Hmm. Oh, okay, so by the way, the, the, the pips on the uh, bar on the top, by the way, uh, I guess they're just a way to show your, your height. Like your floor one or floor two. I guess that's what it is. It's kind of weird to me, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, okay. it's handy, I guess. So you know where you're at on the map, maybe. Book labeled the Pyramid of Money. <laughs> pyramid, eh? Would it be a pyramid scheme? Funnels of the human mind. Okay, the only funnels I know is like from Gundam. The ones that shoot lasers. Pew pew. Poetry and arts. Science and chemistry. Mm -hmm. Ah, books. Technology. Nature. You would think in the in this world where they already invented robots, they would have like digital media already, but I guess not. There's no internet as far as I know. Fireplace. So she's just sitting in front of the fireplace. Can you go over here first? There's a key for them left. Learning to learn! Hmm. Very useful. Anyway. Uh, can I save from here, by the way? Or do I have to always save with a telephone or something? I guess so. But no save scumming, because there's probably going to be some kind of encounter here. I talk to her from the back? No. They found my husband in the dining hall. You want me to find the culprit? Precisely. Now, I ain't no cop. <laughs> you know, I ain't no cop. I ain't no narc. I'm a private detective. You know how it goes. In the in every piece of media, a private detective is always um, romanticized, you know, as someone who can solve every mystery ever. Even though usually in real life, their work is a lot, a lot more mundane, actually. <laughs> so my question is, why haven't you informed the police? Can I trust you, detective? I'm listening. Someone in the family is setting me up. They want me out of the family business. All eyes are on me. I need an ally. How much are we talking? 36 up front, 6 per hour. 50 up front, 8 per hour. I just lost my husband. Food, shelter, transport. I need to cover my costs. Beatrice, I'm scared. I know. Okay. 50 up front, 8 per hour. You know, in modern times, I that's not a lot, but maybe in in 1900s, I don't know. Has inflation is inflation that bad? That I assume 50 up front is a lot, you know, relatively. Because otherwise, I mean, you know, in like 2021, that's very little. You can't buy anything 50 bucks. Back in my day, you could buy a million gumballs, one dollar. Um, it's settled. 
Thank you, detective. I hope my name can be cleared. Don't worry, ma'am. You're not alone anymore. I assume so, because why, you know, why would she... Is she, I, you know, she... We're like literally in a mansion full of rich people. You think $50, I don't know, I assume that's a lot. From the context. Before you leave, here. A pair of earrings. It's a communication device. Now we can talk from a distance. Hello, Beatrice. Understood. I'll find a witness and get back to you. Come to think of it, I already know Lloyd found the body. I should bring it up with Aya. Okay, okay, the game, okay. Because you could, like, go to the right early. I guess the game recognizes that and then we just skip to here. Alright, that's cool. I like that. Game design, amazing. Um, now what? I can read? What's that? You said you were being set up. What makes you say so? To the Volkovs, I'm an outsider. Smiles were plenty when Evan was around. But like him, their support has vanished. They all think I did it. That I'm after the money. I see. I didn't do it, Beatrice. Guilty or not, she's scared. Maybe even hurt. She seems isolated. Easily affected by av adversity. She's desperate for protection. Unless all this is an act. Vulnerability. It often makes me drop my guard. Okay, that all for some reason. Okay, I don't know. I don't stand any of these mechanics, but I guess choosing read does cost something. So on the right, there's the little these little faces. We only got four. Used up one. Maybe that gives us like context to what we should do, maybe or something. Anyway, let's use the power of facts and logic, which at this point is so meme to death. You know, it doesn't mean anything anymore when people say, "Oh, facts and logic," but whatever. <laughs> Let's use the witness. Lloyd found the Ev Evan's body. You unlocked the testimonial. I was told Lloyd found Evan's body. Lloyd looked up to Evan like a father. His actual father is unavailable. Okay, so Yvonne is his real father, but um, I guess Yvonne wasn't really taking care of him, you know? So instead, um, his uncle, I assume, was the one taking care of him instead, which was uh, Evan. What kind of person is Lloyd? That boy is bitter like his father. But he's a good kid deep down. You should speak to him. He may not be handling this death well. This will open the front gate. The one in the main hall leading upstairs. Lloyd's room is upstairs to the right. Alright. Lloyd just turned 16. Young age to lose family. We're here. I don't know why we're using the. Do you have family? We're using the the. Why is that important? Oh, pardon my intrusion. Okay, I was gonna say that we're using the uh, communication device, even though she's right here. <laughs> right here. Uh, upstairs to the right. I assume this way. Interesting. By the way, we see our icon on the. The UI there, so okay, there's there's a reason maybe? I don't know. Like, I assume like if the character is on the UI, it, it, it's to show that they're in the in the floor, I guess. In the room. Maybe. Gaiman. Overcoming. And... The Hunger. Hmm. The Hunger, eh? Okay. Run, run, I'm angry. <laughs> when I'm when I'm when I'm running, I'm really angry. Arr. Okay, so I assume uh, opens this. Did she say like front gate, right? Yeah. Like that, and then go to the right. It's still blood. Do your job, robots. How can I assist you, gas? Welcome, gas. Tell us your business here, gas. Please do not run in the hallway, gas. No. I refuse. Kotowaru, you can't stop me. I am the law. No, um. A peaceful painting of a... Is that a dog? Mm, looks like a dog. Could be a, a different animal. What is this monstrosity? I don't know. Okay, it's a lot of blood. Everywhere. Obviously, his room is to the upstairs to the right, but obviously I want to explore. You know, I'm a private detective. I gotta explore first. Save as well, that's good. Hmm. 
It's Nasha again, and here is a Volkov. Evan. Or, well, everybody's a Volkov, but in the, in the family, but rather Evan. Or flowers, by the way. Interesting uh, palette, by the way. You know, it really is like pseudo GBA, but it has like interesting uh, colors where they sometimes splash it around, you know? Which is, uh, which is cool. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, Dream Inter. I don't know if I saw that. Saw your message late, but. But hello. Let's play a little murder mystery game. Um, can I learn about floors, by the way? Before one? Okay, this floor you find Evans Isle and manufacturing, office, art lounge. Okay, a lot of stuff, I guess. I don't know if this is important. This might be important. I don't know. It, like, you know, it's just a list of stuff, but. Could be important to know. Don't forget to use your map. You find a menu by pressing X. Amazing. Here's Javon. And here's Ivan. Okay. Well, that's to uh, Lloyd's room. You know, whatever play, every gamer, any true gamer worth their salt, <laughs> always goes to the area not to progress. Because that's what you do. There's another phone, I guess. Um, okay, we'll have to go this way. Uh, this, is a, this is a big mansion. Uh, not much over here, though. Just another gate of some sort. Can't really look at this, either. Hmm. Can't really get past that way. It seems. Mm, what's over here? Nursing center. Okay. Floor four. A key to the nursery? It's in the lab. <laughs> Alright, why is the keys just everywhere? Why is his- why is your mansion designed like a video game, <laughs> you know? Where it's like all the keys are just around, scattered around different places. Oh. Hello? In times like these, we must remain detached. We must stay rational. Okay, why you lock me out though? <laughs> Why'd you lock me out? Hello? You didn't think that's strange? Preserving dead bodies, brain, and spinal cord nervous system. Hmm, medical books. Alright. Hello? Are you a vampire? <laughs> or, uh... Hello. My name is Dr. Keith Bridges. How might I help you, miss? How about no? I, I don't think I talked to this guy yet. I don't know who this guy is, really. Oh, a box? Some blood. Laws and ethics in medicine. History of medicine. Prestige University. It's funny, like, hello, I'm keep and I just leave. Hmm. There's a body here. By the way. Eh. Dead body Evan Volkov. His throat was slit open ear to ear. Hmm. Like a smile. How's the devil's ass your notes? Alright. It takes cold blood to do such a thing. And maybe no blood at all. Or blind rage. Hmm. Now we know the murder or the cause of death. I didn't want to be here though, to be honest. I wanted to like explore a little bit. I wanted to talk to uh, Lloyd first. I didn't want to talk to this guy, you know? Hmm. Can I go this way? I can't. <laughs> I can't leave! Help! 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 I can't leave! Nope. I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to talk to this guy yet. Yeah... Well, this sucks. I didn't save either, you know? I did save, but it's been a, it's, it's a little bit of rooms before that. I guess I'll talk to him. I have no choice. What do you want? You look smug. What's it like, Doc? Working on bodies. The general public does not understand. Simpletons looking at my work of disgust. Some even say that an autopsy is sacrilege. Unholy intrusive, they say. Frankly, I can't understand their point of view. Can't they see my diligence? Can't they see all my hard work? I am the finest minds. I am of the finest minds of the era. I see. Can't even answer the question. Keith's a bit in his own world. Gotta bring him back to reality. And that bit about finest minds. All this bravado, but really he's compensating. Hmm. 
And I use cause of death? Doc, what happened to Mr. Volkov? I am terribly sorry. I cannot share private information. What do you mean? I need the details, Doc. My hands are tied. Uh-oh. Time to persuade, I guess. Mm, hurts his ego. I don't know. Attack character. You let me waltz in here. I already saw the body. I think you're just not cooperative. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, fine. Understand the situation. I know you want to be professional and all. I understand, Doc. I'm glad you do. So drop it. Damn it, I don't know what to do. Help. Uh, how about this? What should I focus on? Press. What you got for me, Doc? I can't share my observations until the family says so. You know, one of them is responsible for this. Uh, of course, I knew that. Hmm. Hmm. Press again? No, I already did this though. I already did that, yeah. Uh... Hmm. I can't- I don't know what to do, uh... How about I flatter- I never use this yet, for flatter ego? Ooh, work ethic. You take your work seriously. It proves you're a diligent person. Oh, I'm only doing my job, miss. Okay. Flatter him a little because, yeah, he does have a big ego. If the right words, the right intonations, iron works his way and the heart spills his secrets. Alright, so you've made your point. Here are the gruesome details. A crude laceration above the trachea. The weapon was neither clean nor sharp. So no rusty tool, something like that. Jugular veins and the heart carotid artery split. 1.3 gallons of blood gone within minutes. The man lost 10% of his body weight. Good grief. A troubling detail indeed. You think this was personal? Miss, it's not my place to speculate. I've also noted defensive wounds. This time, I'm a sharp weapon. Okay. I was successful. I didn't really know what to do, but I did do it, I guess. I wonder if you can fail. If you fail, maybe you don't get the secrets, you know? I found this key on Evan's body. It was tied to his neck. It leads to his bedroom downstairs. Alright. I guess we did it. How's your marriage? Like partners in crime. He loved me very much. And did you love him? I am um, admired his work. Okay, weird. I, I just want to talk to him real quick. Can I say anything else? Best of luck in your findings. Okay. So I don't want to interrupt the radio conversation, you know? Hello? What's this? Crafty key! Got the key! Anything else around here? Hmm. So we got the information about his... his death, I guess. Key, power skills... Yeah, so I don't understand. I guess it depends on the situation. Like, what you use on people is depends on their personality or something. Hmm. Not lock me in here, though, you know? I didn't intend to do that. Oh, oh there's some robots. Ah, well, out of the way, come on. Before the violations, uh, or before blah, blah, who are you? Uh, oh, Beatrice, I'll admit I'm hurt. Why? Pearl Harbor. It changes everything. Okay. What did you say, before the what? I don't know. Which, oh, I, I didn't pay attention before the. I would say violations or something. So she said Pearl Harbor. Obviously, you know. I guess that's a reference to World War Two. I assume. I guess World War Two is happening, or at least you know very recently, I, or something. I don't know. We're here to serve. Is why we were made. The Volkov Company made us. The Volkov Company will sell us. Green painting of the greenhouse. 
Save the game. Looks like... I have no idea. <laughs> what is that? Very abstract. It looks like a mustache with like a monocle on the mustache. And it's shadow, except the shadow is not the mustache. I don't know, anyway. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the only way to go, okay. So, we just need to go to the right. Now, who are you? Yvonne? Move. I'm walking here. You're not welcome here. Hey, Baldy. <laughs> are you always an ass? Alright. You. Watch your fucking mouth. I'm investigating a murder. Someone tells me to back off, I assume they're hiding something. So how about you watch your mouth, Baldy? You little shit. How dare you! Evan was my brother! For all I know, she did it. Who? That... <laughs> I'm so rude. Look, he's saying it, not me. That cunt you work for. You two are nothing but gold diggers. You freaking boob. <laughs> you freaking boob? That's a funny insult. Do me a favor, leave my family alone. Especially my boy. Okay. A cunt. <laughs> Sorry you heard that. Uh -huh. It's a bad word. So very so rude. You can't say you can't say that, you're not allowed. He's still painting about a cottage. Hmm. You know, if I cared about monetization, you know, on YouTube, probably that would probably get me demonetized. But, I mean, I don't care. I don't monetize my videos usually. The only time my videos have, like, ads on them is when they get copyright claimed. <laughs> and I have no choice but to let them put ads usually. Otherwise, I don't put ads in my YouTube videos at all, really. Anyway, um... Welcome to Lloyd's Quarters. We're still unboxing. Other than us, no one is helping Lloyd move in. Hmm, Lloyd is moving in. Interesting. Okay, unboxing over there. Is... Ivan's offices? Do I want to be here? A key to Ivan's offices? I wish Schmidt... Schmidt... Schmidt adds one? Hmm. Well, let's go to Lloyd's quarters first, I guess. Can I push these boxes? Hello? Talk to these people too. Eh. Eh. I can't talk to you though. Because <laughs> I, I blocked you in. You see, she's you're stuck. There's so much to unpack. I don't know where to start. Boxes to unpack. A death to mourn. My list of chores make me so anxious. They don't pay me enough for this. Times like these, we need order. I need order. And then, like Chinese, uh, you know. What's it? What's the genre called? I'm, I'm trying to make a. I'm trying to make a reference to Zhang Li's trailer, Chinese dubstep. You know, play starts playing. That's what I'm trying to say. I will have. I will have order. All right, does well, why does Zhang Li sound like in English? I'm not, I'm not even sure. I assume he sounds like just generic anime protagonist. Like, I will have order. I will have order. I will have an order of 50 Chicken McNuggets. Anyway, uh, I assume that's Lloyd. Hmm. So I want to check, like, some other places. Oh, I can talk to you now. The, the box is reset. Uh, Evan used to come to visit Lloyd often. I, uh, not so much. Okay. Uh... I would do it again, but I, I want to check over here as well. What's over here? Oh, this is the attic. Okay. More boxes, good. Alright. Uh, nothing here, I guess. Just more boxes, okay. Oh, I like the- I like the puzzle so far. You know, quote-unquote. AKA, like, easy baby Legend of Zelda puzzles. That aren't really puzzles. For the most part. Uh, let's see here. There's a crack on the wall, by the way. That's weird. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. 
What's this? Yvonne's will. Okay. Must have placed here. Or must have been placed here by mistake. The literature is complex. I need an expert to help me read it. Hmm. Well, I assume it's like a lot of legal speak, you know? Just like how there's like, you know how like the terms and services every time you like register an account on a website? It's probably like that, right? I'm gonna move this. I can't move this. Oh, I can't move that away. Um. Can I do that? Let's do this. The paint is scratched. What if I... This royal door is locked. Okay, it's a royal door. I can't open it, though. Interesting. But we have, uh... Yvonne's will. Lloyd inherits shares. I don't know exactly what it entails, though. Not a lot of legal speak. Not a lot of lawyer talk. that and then go back here okay i assume that's it so we have to go talk to lloyd now i like to save though what's it where was this <laughs> ah i'm stuck help where's the save i like to save because in just in case i mess up you know i don't know you don't have to do, I, I i figure you don't have to look, do it perfectly but it doesn't feel right you know if i fail so is there a save somewhere where's the save this isn't a save. I go back to the telephone, you know? I assume we have to, like, talk to Lloyd and persuade him of something. Save the game, like so. And I don't know, are there multiple endings of this game? I, I don't know, actually. I have no idea. I don't know if it matters, you know, if you fail, like, a testimony or, like, a interrogation. Changes the ending slightly, maybe? Not sure. Anyway. Um, get to him over here. I assume this is Lloyd. He looks very shady, you know. He's wearing his hat, locking his eyes. Hey, kid. You're Lloyd, right? Yeah. So what? Man, <laughs> so what? Um, I'd like to read him real quick. Moving in, I see. Yeah, I had to change rooms. My dad says I need to own, need my own place. I see. I mean, I, th I think it's a good idea. I'm not a boy anymore. It's a tough guy's job. Moving all these boxes. All on my own. Hmm. Lloyd is a gentle kind, but he was raised by Volkals. He is, he's distrustful of kindness. Easily affected by how he's perceived. He doesn't let his own opinions out. He's always playing tough to impress. Does that mean I must crush his, you know, his crush his self-confidence? <laughs> anyway, uh, facts. You found the body? You were the first to find Mr. Volkov. Yeah, in the dining hall. He was seated, his body slouched to the side, and his neck was... My favorite uncle was... Gone. I know it's hard to talk. Uh, obviously I was a, a man about it. Blood doesn't bother me. Blood. Oh yeah. Gallons of it. Everywhere. When the maze showed up, I acted tough. I tried to set an example, you know? Because uh, some of them were crying. Sure, kid. I didn't cry. Right. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. Now lay it on me straight, kid. Lloyd, you can talk to me. I'm not a liar. Okay, um... Look, I ain't no cop. Nothing's gonna happen if we talk. Yeah, right. Oh man. Uh, how about I destroy your ego? Belittle. Spit it, kid. I ain't got time for this. Stop bothering me and leave. Oh man, it doesn't work. Okay, we'll use this one then. The maids say you're a sensitive boy. They say you cried, Lloyd. Uh, that's not true. Oh, I know it's not. I believe you. Okay. And now we gotta do this. Uh, build their confidence? I don't know, actually. Should you do that? Let me try this one first. Let's use the power of empathy. You and Evan were close. It's gotta be a lot to handle. 
I miss him. Okay. Because he's a gentle kid, you know? You gotta, you gotta use your, the power of empathy. With the right words and the right nations, I was give away in the hearts of secrets. Wow! You're right. I didn't find the body. My dad did. Ivan Volkov found the body. Hmm. Witness level 2. Why did you lie to me? He asked me to do it. I don't know why, but he looks scared. Beatrice, is my dad in trouble? I'm gonna need to talk to him. Okay. Persuasion. Successful. 